Hey, what's going on YouTube, the channel's If Sports Cards. My name is Ian and welcome to episode 139 of the top 10 sports card polls of the week brought to you by our sponsors PSA and whatnot. It took a poll of $5,000 to get on today's top 10, but you are going to see quite possibly the biggest card you've ever seen pulled from a retail box as well as the biggest card maybe you've seen pulled from a hobby box today. So today's video is going to be a good one, but before we get into it, if you guys missed last week's announcement, PSA has five awesome specials going for the month of March, including a vintage special for $15 per card, a value plus special for $30 per card, an express special for $100 per card, a super express for $200 per card, and an express ticket and pack special for $100 per ticket or pack. The four trading card specials are exclusive to PSA Collectors Club members, so if you would like to become one yourself, they have two awesome options for you. They have the standard tier and they have the premium tier that gives you one full year access to Card Ladder Pro. There are links in the description box if you would like more information on these specials or on becoming a PSA Collectors Club member. As always, we're going to get you guys started with a few honorable mentions, and then let's get into our top 10 polls of the week. Our first honorable mention comes from Mama Breaks, who breaks over on Fanatics Live, and she was opening 2023 Luminaries Baseball. Second best Albert Pujols. Here we go, Supa. One of one. Jordan Walker, rookie are you kidding me what in the world is this this is the jordan walker spark of light gold auto one of one and i have this at an estimated three thousand dollars based on his highest sales of this design also shout out to mama breaks on getting her own short printed baseball card in this coming release of tops big league baseball that is awesome our second honorable mention comes from Shy City Poles, who breaks here on YouTube, and he was opening 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball. We got Kodai Senga and our red to five on card auto. It's going to be a first Bowman. Five out of five. Yoendri. Vargas going to the Dodgers. This is the Yoendri Vargas first prospect auto red number five out of five. And I have this one also at an estimated $3,000, which is $500 more than what the four out of five recently sold for. I mentioned in the top 10 retail video that this is an 18 year old Dominican shortstop who is currently regarded as the number three international prospect in all of baseball. Shy was able to purchase this card from the customer who hit it and has sent it off to PSA for grading. My guy Shia will also be appearing in Topps Big League Baseball as a short printed card, so you know what we gotta do. We gotta give that a boo! Our third and final honorable mention for this week comes from Fire Fam Hoops, who breaks over on whatnot, and he was opening 2023-24 Donruss Basketball. James on the Retro Series, and a Wemby, what is this? Oh my god! Wemby Gold, Jared! Jared! <laughs> this is the Victor Wembenyama Hardwood Masters Gold, number 10 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $4,200 based on the $4,000 sale of the numbered 5 out of 10 that occurred at the end of February on eBay. Given this is the bookend, I will throw a couple hundred more on it, but... That will do it for our honorable mentions for this week. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button and let's get into our top 10 polls this week. Kicking us off at number 10 this week is Gray Bros Sports Cards who break over on Fanatics Live and they were opening 2022-23 National Treasures Basketball. Oh, holy sh I just saw the next card. Did you? I just saw the next card. No, don't look, don't holy look. Sh holy shit. Holy sh I'm just showing it. Chad Holmes! Chad Holmes! Out the whistle! Out of the whistle! Out of the whistle! This is the Chet Holmgren RPA Pink number 19 out of 25, and I have this at $5,000, which is what the last one of these sold for raw on eBay. This break was 100% free for people who helped them get on Fanatics Live, so somebody hit this on the free. 
At number nine, we're with Pastime Breaks who break here on YouTube, and this one comes with a pretty cool backstory. A father bought this spot in a break for 2023-24 Prism Premier League. This was a first off-the-line box, and his daughter is a soccer player herself and is a huge Manchester United fan and wanted a spot in the break for Man U for her birthday. Well, watch what she hit. Manchester United. Joe, how about a Kobe Mano one of one black shimmer? Wow, wow, we wow, bada bing, bada boom. As birthday luck would have it, she hit this Kobe Mano rookie black shimmer one of one, and I have this at an estimated five thousand six hundred dollars, which is based on his true gold sale of one thousand five hundred dollars. And I would guess the gold shimmer would be about half that, and then I'll add about seven and a half to that, and voila. At number eight, we are with Leighton Sports Cards, who break here on YouTube, and they were opening twenty twenty three tops diamond icons baseball. Look what it is a big one. Dual autograph diamond relic book. First one of these I've seen. Dual autograph diamond relic. And it is Aaron Judge and Derek Jeter on the one of one dual auto dual Ooh. diamond relic book. Boom! Wow. Wow indeed. There we go, Lucas. This is the Derek Jeter Aaron Judge Dual Auto Diamond Relic Book 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $7,000, which is a guess based on the sale of this Allen and Genter Dual Auto Relic Book number to 10. I gotta imagine there are some Yankees fans that are dying to have this one in their PC. At number 7, we're with Mitch's Box Breaks, who breaks over on Fanatics Live, and he was opening 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. Hey, Mitch. Mitch, yeah. come here. What should we do with that? What? Oh. <laughs> Brady! <laughs> it's not 12? I know. I'm sorry. I tried. It's not 12? I tried. This is the Tom Brady 1995 Bowman Dream Draft Picks Gold Auto number 29 out of 50. And I have this at $7,500, which is what the last raw sale of this card was. These Tom Brady baseball cards seem to be getting pulled each and every week, but never the inscriptions. I'm starting to think these never even made it into packs. What do you guys think? At number six, we are with the Clubhouse, who break here on YouTube, and they were opening 2022-23 Clear Cut Hockey. Oh, f Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Uh, I just saw Exquisite and one one I didn't even see who it was. You didn't was. see who it was? No. Alexander Ovechkin, one of one rookie Exquisite. Holy sh**, we hit it. Marty. This is the Alexander Ovechkin 2003-2004 Exquisite Rookie Tribute Auto Gold one of one And I have this at an estimated $8,000, which is a guess based on what his out of 25 version of this card sold for about a month ago. This is such a sick card of one of the best to ever lace it up. At number five, we're with Colossal Cards and Collectibles who break over on Facebook and they were opening 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Mr. Grace, you're going to load up, buddy. Team bags for days. Uh, we got, oh, did we get one? Did we get a deluxe? Oh, and it's Hawks. It's Hawks. It's Hawks, and look where the stick is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there we go. 94 out of 100 Connor Bedard exclusives. Let's go. This is the Connor Bedard Young Guns exclusives, number 94 out of 100, and I have this at an estimated $8,500, as there is one up for eBay auction, ending on Wednesday with a bid of almost $8,000 United States dollars. Pretty crazy for a card with 100 different copies of it. I also want to point out how cool it would have been to have been in the background of this guy's Young Gun card. 
At number four, we are with Main Street Breaks, who break over on Facebook, and this is a poll from 2023 Prism Football first off the line, but it has a little story to it. Mike intended to keep this as a personal box, but his wife Jen decided otherwise and told him to put it in a break called Jen's Mixer. Men, let's be honest, most of the time it is a good idea to listen to the wife. Here is a rare occurrence when it goes horribly wrong. Come on. Of course we run encased. Oh, we got a gold! Come on! I know this. I know better. It's a Texan. It's a Texan. It's a rookie Texan. I called it! Let's go! Let's go! I called it! You guys heard it! Bang! 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 This is the C.J. Stroud Rookie Gold Shimmer numbered 1 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $10,000, which is 20% less than what the 4 out of 10 sold for a couple of months ago. Since then, his Color Blast sales are down about 30%, but given this is a bookend, I'll give this a little bit of a premium. It is not often that the wife belongs in the doghouse, but this is certainly one of those instances. I have a feeling Mike will be holding this one over Jen's head for quite some time. At number three, we are with 479 Breaks, who break over on Whatnot, and they had the biggest retail poll I have ever seen. This is a retail poll at number three from 2023-24 Prism Monopoly Basketball. Somebody clip this! Oh, f oh, f oh, f holy, sh that's huge. Holy, sh oh, my God, that's massive. This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie White Millionaire 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $25,000, which seems even crazy to consider, given this was from a $30 retail box. But his Blue Millionaire went for almost $5,000, and that one's out of 10. There is also a Black 1 of 1 that is still live as far as I know, and I would assume that one would have a little more value to it than this one, but I could be completely wrong. This is the first time in a long time a retail card has made the weekly top 10, and this is now the most valuable retail card I have ever seen pulled. Although, we will see how the value of this card holds up over time. If we learned anything from last year's debut release of Monopoly Prism, it is to sell quickly. At number two, we are with Boom, who is a Chinese breaker on the Hobby Stocks app, and they were opening 2023-24 Prism Basketball. This is the Victor Wembenyama Rookie True Gold number 5 out of 10, and I have this at $93,000, which is what I am told by Pangzai that this card sold privately in China. This is almost double what I had this card valued at last week, but a viewer who goes by Comsly informed me of the $74,000 bounty for any True Gold Prism Wemby put out by Canadian collector Slab Sharks on February 20th, which I was unaware of previously. This Wemby Gold was unable to capture the top spot in two consecutive weeks, however. Let's see who and what beat it out for the biggest sports card pulled on video this week. And at number one this week is Prez VXK over on Instagram, but his real name is Cavell, and he bought a hobby box of Prism Basketball from his local LCS NorCal Sports Cards in Folsom, California, and you will never believe what they pulled. Here is the reaction shortly after. The card. <sighs> I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't even pick it up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is gonna be on all the YouTubes for the pool of the forever. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh my, the, the top load. <laughs> this is the Victor Wembenyama rookie black finite one of one, and I have this at an estimated seven hundred thousand dollars, which is just a guess based on that ninety-three thousand dollar true gold sale that Pangzai told us about. But after this card was pulled, along with Tommy of NorCal Sports Cards, Cavell flew to PSA's headquarters and utilized their walkthrough service. And this card graded a Gem Mint 10. When I asked what their plans for the card were, they said just to enjoy the opportunity of owning it for now. But when the right offer were to come, I believe they will eventually end up selling this card. When I asked what their offer might look like, they didn't really have a figure in mind yet. But congratulations to Cavell on pulling the biggest Prism card ever produced. And thank you to his fiance, Jess, on capturing and submitting this video for the show. I want to hear your guys' thoughts as to what you think the Black Finite Wemby 1 of 1 is worth. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your guess is. I know it wasn't pulled on our sponsor whatnot, but if you would like your chance at pulling many different cards that can make this top 10 at any single time of the day, our sponsor whatnot has breaks going. Whenever the time feels right, I invite you to jump over on www.whatnot.com or you can download their free mobile app and jump into a break starting right now. And you can use my link in the description box below to get a free $10 towards that break. Thank you to everyone who submitted videos for this week's episode. And thank you to our sponsors, PSA and whatnot for your continued support of this series. Last but not least, thank you to the IF fam for your support via the membership program here on YouTube. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please leave this video a like and be sure to join me again next week on the top 10 sports card polls of the week. Until then, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.